Hey guys, you listen to Baja. So I've not recorded it in ages. Uh, I thought I would uh, do something a bit different this time around. Um, there'll be no action-packed stuff happening in the background. It's going to be just me talking away. Uh, what I'm going to cover this time is a bit different thing here. I'm actually going to go over the patch notes, right? So uh, before we start this, I have not actually read them. I have no idea what's in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through them and uh, as I go, so excuse me if I say something wrong, I have bad reading skills. Um, right, so from what I can tell, these have not been updated, uh, PTS, motor care. So this is 1.6.1 and it'll be a quality update. Uh, PTS is still going on here. Uh, so these patch notes correspond to changes between the current version available and the PTS in 1.6. Right, so uh, this is the same kind of disclaimer part, okay? So, next up we have uh, the new feature loadouts. Loadouts offer players a chance to save their equ equipped weapons, gear, skills, talents to loadouts, loadout slots, allowing for quick swapping of bills to be used for different activities. Players will be able to create and to save up to six loadouts per character. Each loadout can be directly equipped when out of combat. So important note there, uh, combat, right? So we're gonna have all our gear. Uh, so weapons will be in the loadout. Uh, gear will be in the loadout. Skills will be in the loadout. And talents will be in the loadout. Right, so where's, does that mean that obviously mods, like these mods here, do they explain that? Cause they don't never explain that well. I would obviously watch their uh, their their live stream and their Twitch, but I can't really be bothered with that half the time. Um, so I'm imagining when how this will work is uh, you will sort of see it like that essentially, but it's more sort of condensed sort of format, uh, and it will show you kind of like along the sides um, what you've got equipped, and obviously each gun. So imagining. The way I can see it sort of happening, and the way I do it in my head, there's two different things. Like I would probably say that like um, you would have what's equipped there in each loadout, but you can't share that between loadouts. But it will still physically exist in your stash or your your infantry essentially it'll just be separate which would be kind of annoying because you wouldn't really know what you've got in your bag or what you can remove so there must be some sort of numbering system there i haven't actually seen any pts yet i've not really looked but in my head that's generally what would happen there so we'll move on so gameplay let's see okay so gameplay uh, first one up, fixed several bugs that could prevent players from being revived by skills or player interaction if they were previously being revived by a support station and this revive was cancelled for various reasons. Oh my god, the legendary mode just got that a lot easier. Woo, I hated that one. Fixed instances, fixed instances of high value target bosses remaining stuck in their spawn room preventing completion oh my god oh, like you, if you have never experienced this you're so lucky right what happens is they come out a doorway at the side and if you're in like a close proximity or something's happened in close proximity uh, it will essentially make them stop coming out the door so when they die what well, they do do because beforehand it would just glitch you out the whole entire game but now it's got like a, a minute timer where if they don't the system doesn't kick them out the door essentially, um, then they will just die. And the problem with that is, if no matter how much you run against the door, like remember um, Lillian Barrett's, where when you used to kill her or she didn't come out down the stairs, the same thing would happen. You weren't able to get your stuff, and if it's in a door, then you can't physically get there. Okay, so. Uh, that's an annoying bug if you ever faced it. Uh, fixed instances where players would be stuck in combat with MP NPCs outside of the mission area after completing a mission. Uh, whoa, I would see. Um, I think the most legendary annoying one for that is 
probably napalm. For some odd reason, when you come out of here, um, there's some NPCs just at this sort of garage here. Uh, it's like a bus depot car park type thing. And NPCs, uh, uh, for some odd reason, just to get totally aggroed there. Uh, a bit of annoyance if you do that mission quite a lot. Uh, fix a bug where resistance to status effects would still be counted as a chance to resist the element together altogether. On top of reducing its duration, the resistance value will now correctly only reduce the reduction. Right, okay. I've noticed this a couple of times with like frame turrets. Basically what would happen is, see if you've got 50% chance of, but the old way is 50% chance of re receiving that uh, damage or that effect. What would happen is it would take 50% chance of doing it. So you'd have a 50-50 chance of going on fire, right? What it changed to was that now this, this diminishes the effect. So if you have 50% uh, and someone's hitting you, uh, and you get about a thousand burn damage over a space of like a, a couple of seconds, what would happen is it would, you'd only receive 500 uh, health damage reduction. Okay. But what was happening at the same time was the resistance doesn't really work together. Therefore, it would um, essentially sort of like it would do the reduced damage, but at the same time, it might not actually give you that boom damage in the first time because the reduced damage was there. Okay, so that's so that's kind of interesting. Uh, I would be consider. I wouldn't really consider that a buff. I would consider it more of a sort of like. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why to describe that. I'd probably describe that as more of a sort of like, oh, for fuck's sake, why do you not fix it already? Hang on. Okay. Do you apologize for swearing? I'm going to try not to swear at this one. Uh, fix a bug where a few fire extinguishers would deal a high amount of damage to NPCs in some missions for quint uh Consistency, fire extinguishers in the entire game will no longer do any damage and only apply the disorientation effect to NPCs. Um, in the old days, what we used to do is just run about with the, the, the fire extinguishers and shoot them near players. Um, they, they, they do surprisingly kill NPCs, but only like a few of them. <laughs> uh, right, so moving on. Uh, so items. Uh, level 34 extended mags will now roll between 109 and 121 extra magazine size instead of 109 to 111. This change is not retrospective. Right, okay, so that's good. Right, so basically, um, <coughs> the mags are getting changed, which is good because the mags were kind of crap. Uh, 111, I think, was max, but I think 111 was actually a bug. Uh, it was meant to be 117 or something uh, from a previous patch, but it, it got all kind of messed up. Uh, I remember reading about it somewhere, and I didn't really read it too, too much from bother about it. Uh, existing old level, oh, so I started to read that actually. Existing old level 33 extended magazines that had a magazine bonus above 108 will be reduced to 108. Right, so if you have like any old school ones, if it's like um, any higher than 108, then they will be reduced, so that's fine. Uh, Nimble will apply healing over time and four ticks. Uh, healing over time and four ticks over four seconds as long as the player stays in the destination cover. Leaving cover will interrupt this effect. Uh, the total amount of heal is unchanged. Right, so you can essentially uh, do your cover to cover move, but when you get to that end cover, you will have to stay in that cover for you to receive your health, which is kind of good. It's kind of like it's not really a, a nerf, I would say. It kind of actually makes sense. Like things like robust and um, steadfast already have the bonuses. Uh, you know yourself, robust is a ten percent and ten uh, percent in your cover. And obviously the um, steadfast, I think it's steadfast, isn't it? It's 15% when you're in cover for four seconds, it gives you 15% more armor, right? So it's kind of fair. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, fix a bug where some items could not be recalibrated to the maximum state range that was displaying at the recalibration uh, station. Okay. Oh, right, 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 okay. I'll actually, I'll actually show you this one. This one's sort of an annoying one. Uh, I think I remember this one. Basically, what happens is uh, there is a talent. 
if I see if I can find that. Okay, so, do, 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 do. right. So you see here that it says skill haste is at nine percent, right? At seven percent to nine percent, right? So if you go through it a couple of times, um, see how see what I mean here. Uh, if I can get skill haste, I'm gonna try and get as much as possible. I don't know why they're giving these these like bump outs to all these players this is like issues that have been like so bad like forever i don't understand why they're like they're seeing it now um all right okay let's see come on let's go ahead. right so so this one here it gives you eight percent right and as you'll notice on most of the gear that I've got skill haste on it, uh, the sort of max you're gonna get is eight percent, right? Because see if I keep on rolling for this, um, if I keep on rolling for skill haste, I'm never gonna get nine percent, right? So that's that's quite quite dramatic, essentially. I think there's another one as well where if you you keep on rolling for something, you'll never actually get it. Um, I think it's something daft, like um, a couple of the stats. I, can, I think it's just major stats, my word now. So here you go, that's eight percent again. But you won't see seven that often, but you always see eight for some reason. But never see nine. And so there we. Now you know what that is. Right, going back to this. Uh, right, okay. So. Fixed. Uh, Fixed uh, a bug with m half of the nomads. Uh, where the four piece talent cooldown progress would restart upon death and last stand. Ah, oh, right, 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 okay. This one is so bad. Right, so, uh, with the four piece bonus, like, if you um, are wearing nomads, let's see, I do not have any on me. Um, I don't know if I should really explain this one. I'm just, I'll just jump between. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure there's Path of the No Pals down here somewhere. And I do call it Path of the No Pals. Thank you very much. It cause is a solo build. Uh, so it is Path of the No Pals. Um, right. Let's see. Uh, Path of the No Pals. Path of the No Pals. Where are you? Path of the No Pals. Right, okay. So, grants a quite No, that's the right one. Uh, when receiving fatal damage, you are instead healed to full health. Can occur once every four minutes. When receiving fatal damage, you are... See, uh, that just, that, that just doesn't ever make sense to me. You are instead healed to full health. Right, whatever. So... Um, basically what people were doing was they were just going ahead and um, they could proc that every time they died so they were essentially getting a, like a full heal essentially over over on what they had um, so fix a bug with tactician's authority where the four piece bonus wouldn't reset correctly when starting a back to back last stand game session never experienced that I've, obviously I wear tactics on the time I've never experienced that at all um, right so on to talents let's have a look uh, fix the bug with shrapnel where the bleed effect would not correctly apply to nearby enemies when using the poor piece um, printer's gear set that has actually been an issue before is it not um, I haven't used printer's markers obviously it's it's not really any good to anyone now because everyone's got resistance and stuff but um Anybody any when using four piece. So that's a that's a bit an old one. That's an old one. I don't know that I even fixed it before. Uh fix the bug with triage, which we'll move next one. Uh fix the bug with triage where the cooldown re reduction would not display correctly in the UI. Uh, reported by someone called Morph Tool. Oh, uh, why are they even putting these callouts for people? So many things that have like been reported for so long. Uh, that one has been a new UI glitch. There's been a UI glitch from Firecrest for the past, I don't know, two months. So how are you meant to know when you're proccing it? Would it not be nice to have a wee, wee symbol to show you when you're actually hitting someone who's on fire? Oh, no. But we've got a constant Firecrest mark. Um, right, so cooldown, triage, okay, let's go. Uh, if I a bug with rapid talent where the cooldown reduction would not display to quickly in the skills that was so annoying i remember testing that in the first week um 
that was so so bad I could because you couldn't tell what you were doing it one guy even on reddit said to me yeah you gotta stop watch out and I was like oh, mate come on come on seriously I've got a whole fucking screen telling me the cooldowns and you're telling me to do, do something I've got to they were stopwatch oh, I should do that as well um, fix the bug with nimble talent where the player could be revived by talent if they died during cover to cover movement right so basically they would just ghost out the uh, so along with that, I mean, imagine people running about with nimble and uh, the nimble and uh, I'll maybe say like a Barrett's chess piece or something and a, 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 a path of the nomad. They were essentially not dying on on last stand. That's pretty cool. Uh, fix the bug with wildfire where the burn effect would not quickly apply to nearby. See that one is so annoying. Like uh, I use flame touch all the time. Uh, wait, so weapons. Burst fire weapons will now have a maximum RPM, making it impossible to reach non-burst rate of fire with specific uh, control modifications. This includes burst fire MP5, PAL, and 93R. Uh, this is basically a mod. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it as a, as a mod. It's a glitch. You can actually get controllers to do it as well uh, for the console. Uh, but basically what they did is they could set it up so that they could use it to basically burst fire like a fucking like a like a machine gun um base flinch has been significantly reduced on all weapons this change affects both pvp and pve mm. npc weapons will cause less flinch as well all right okay no oh, here we go skills mm. <sighs> I don't even want to look at it. right so, 20% of initial explosive damage has been removed to the fire effect damage over time instead. The total amount of damage is unchanged if the fire effect is not cleansed. Stagger effect has been completely removed from this mode. Ah, oh, seriously? <sighs> yeah, you still got hit fire. So basically, um, so basically, they've just fucked another skill. Um, so the initial damage you take, the explosive damage, is twenty percent less. So if you're um, saying you're doing a hundred k damage on someone, they'll take only eighty k damage. But uh, if the flame was doing f uh, say five percent damage, then it will now do like seven k damage or something instead. So it will still do the same damage. It will just do it over a space of time. Uh, um. Right, so fix the bug where four bow skills would become unusable after the player received a status fix. Well, oh my god, yeah. Like, um, have you ever throw a skill or you're throwing a skill or mid skill uh, as you're throwing it and you take any sort of like bleed or a fire effect, you can no longer use that for at least like a minute. It's so annoying. I usually, you can reset it by using like a med kit. Uh, I do find that kind of helps, but that's so nice to see that fixed. Uh, fix the bug with ballistic shield where the player could end up shooting his own shield when reloading and interacting with the shield deployed. <laughs> this, <laughs> this shield, you know, the shield users just don't get any love, do they? Fucking hell, man! Never used a shield since like maybe like one point one point five. I think I used a shield a couple of times using the. Um, Lexington runs so easy, but yeah, like they don't get any love. Missions. Hmm. Fix the bug in Grand Central, where the turret would remain active after completing the mission. Grand Central. Where's Grand Central? Uh, Grand Central. Let's see, Grand Central. Uh, Grand Central, Let's see if I've actually experienced this one, Grand Central, oh man, wasn't that the one where they had the two turrets sitting outside the base, outside the, the dark zone, aye, and even when you weren't even in the mission or even doing it, it was still going off, right okay, so that's, that's a bit of a pain in the ass, uh, incursion stone, stone signal, 
fixed a bug where a curveball would stop throwing grenades during the fight. Oh, because we need a, we need to fix that one, don't we? Jeez, the guy spams it as it is. Uh, underground. Oh, this tell us how it's still broken. Ammo crate was moved to a new location at the beginning of the new underground phase to make it easier to access. All oh, right, so when you go, so you go into a new when you go into like a three phases, the, the ammo box is where you actually spawn. Why does this not move in the spawn? Uh, fixed a bug in security intel missions where the last objective recovered the report could be located outside the map, making the mission impossible to complete. Uh, that one's a pain in the bum. Uh, fixed a bug where players could be stuck in an unplayable dungeon if they disconnected at the last room. I actually had that about two weeks ago when it was an update uh, and I couldn't get out of last stand. It was weird. Uh, fixed a bug where the player would face the eleva elevator instead of the stairs when returning to the terminal from the operations centre. Fixed a bug where the player would face the elevator. Right, okay. Who gives a crap about that one? Uh, survival. Fix a bug that would allow players to group in a solo <laughs> survival session. Fix a bug that would allow players to group in a solo survival session. That, my friends, says it all. Considering the last time they made this big song and dance about solo players grouping. And they're like, oh, we're going to fix it. Oh, well. They're, they're now just fixing it now. Fixed several locations in survival where players could end up stuck. Right here. Uh, fixed several instances where the hunter would not spawn for players standing at specific locations when another player triggered an extraction. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one's like if you're standing like somewhere somewhere daft. I remember seeing that somewhere. Uh, I think it was maybe Reddit. Uh, okay. Uh, fix another weird door. That's actually what it says. There's an actual note here saying, fixed another weird door. <sighs> last stand. Right, added proficiency marks to last stand. Proficiency marks are awarded to the player who scores the highest in a particular game play role. Okay. So each team gets their own list of proficiency marks. Multiple proficiency marks can be given to the same player. Right, okay. Proficiency marks are updated in real time for the match on the lead scoreboard. Earning one or more proficiency marks will boost the player's personal score at the end of the last stand game. Mm -hmm. Basically, Battlefield. Uh, improvements uh, so improvements to team management menu. Players can now constantly Consistently view members of the ally group and use the mute inspect functionality as they would with members of their own group. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Improvements were made uh, to the spawn logic to limit the possibility of spawn camping. Improvements were made to some fortification areas to improve fortification turret line of sight. Fix the bug where fortification turrets could sometimes shoot through specific walls. Oh my god, that one, uh, what is it, C uh, in DZ2, it could shoot through the, the wall. Alright, so, uh, right, sorry. So fix the bug where using a recovery link and presenting to an who, who used recovery link. But, right, is that such a stupid one? Uh, the bug only occurred in last stand. Of course it did. That's a lot. I mean, like, it's, I mean, how is it that a Red Storm, who have like 30 years of experience of PvP, cannot seem to implement something? That that's a lot of bugs. I mean, that's more bugs than anything else of the entire game so far. Um, so uh, what I would fix it. Uh, we'll go to world quickly, we'll cover world, uh, fix instances of losing textures, loading in, props, um, problems of collisions, uh, improvements were made to collisions and then cover several areas of the map, um, improvements were made to several locations where players could end up stuck, yeah, because that's annoying. 
Uh, right, so Dark Zone. Uh, added rewards for clearing a landmark in the Dark Zone. Players now receive Dark Zone experience currency as well as some non contaminated item uh, directly to their infantry. I'm pretty sure that was something they were going to add, was that not? Um, significant level design changes and improvements were made to several locations in a Dark Zone to limit unfair encounters. What? Ooh! Significant level design changes and improvements were made to several locations in the Dark Zone to limit for unfair... Ooh! Now that is really interesting. Significant level design changes. Oh my god, hopefully they've done it. Do you know what this means? Uh, you obviously don't, but you, you, you might do it if you're hearing what I'm saying. Significant level design changes and improvements were made to several locations in the dark zone to limit on flare encounters. DZ2 checkpoint looking at you here. Oh, hope I oh my god. I'm get so I so want to email someone from PC go go here now. Uh fix an issue where some landmarks would not show as cleared after all NPCs have been killed. Fix the bug where the named NPC was missing at the Arc Plaza landmark in DZ4. Uh so if anyone doesn't know where that is uh Arc Plaza uh where is it? That one is that? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, when that was never actually a landmark. I, I can't remember. It was never actually was a landmark, I'm sure. I think it was just like a, one of those buildings that sort of sat there, but now they've actually made a proper a proper thing. Um, UI. <sighs> okay, so you added new settings to allow players to adjust their aim sensitively while looking through the scope. Oh, who is who is it? That guy, Tony, Tony something, Tony Omega from Reddit. Oh, he will love that. Uh, PC Pacific. I won't cover them. Uh, fix the bug. So uh, any other ones? Fix the bug where players could be disconnected from the game after buying premium credits. Add a, uh, add a premium vendor and then not have it fully working. Uh, good job, guys. Uh, fix the bug on Xbox where the game could crash when fi uh, finishing a stream installation. Fix several instances of appearance, appearances items causing graphic glitches and climbing, clipping. Right. So, right. So... Yeah, that was there was a lot of stuff there that I'm I'm quite excited about. Uh, really super excited about the fact that they've added in some they've actually added in that as a, as a landmark. That's pretty awesome. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, I always went through that not thinking that was out. I mean, um, uh, well, this is like I like that's one of the minor fixes here. Uh, last stand seemed really heavy on that. I'm not really gonna lie there, guys. Last stand seemed really heavy on the fixes. That's really bad, actually. Uh, and what was the other one we liked? Um, the glitch, the the thing we took here, where you can go up here. Yeah, that's that's gonna be good um, if they fix that. Obviously, there's one also, if I remember correctly. It's the extraction zone here. This one you can go up on the top bit. Uh, there's also, but that's that's a thing. No, it's a really quite a weird because a lot of these buildings, especially around this outskirt, are really high up. So it's gonna be on you. It's gonna be kind of kind of cool if they do actually tinker with the actual existing, like the the older sort of thing here. But anyway, yeah, uh, I have kind of rambled on. I do apologise. Um, I'm going to try and cut this down as much as possible. Uh, but we'll hopefully we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyway, guys, I've been Baha. Um, and you guys have been awesome. Uh, you have a good day. And hopefully I will see you uh, very, very soon. Uh, if not uh, sometime in the future.